Hey guys, I hope you fresh. Welcome to FXB University channel. Member, let's not get a topic about most of the time. Niendo mkuam kile quest. Ni all about risk management. So, via this video, nita ku onyeshia vila mbavo. Unezu ka liske kapito yako effectively na ukao naeza kufanya kitu na kita compounding. Compounding which means una your capital inazalisha faida na faida yako pia inazalisha faida. It's all about compounding na. Uwezi kufanya compounding kama una proper risk management na raw size vizila ambazo na kupo na tumia with what leward ratio. Now, via this video, nita kwenishia all the tapes ya ambazo nezu kazi tumia and all of the sites ya ambazo nezu kazi tumia kwa ajili ya kufanya risky management. Mind you, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and I would like kwamba you also write this video so that YouTube waneza can recommend kwa watu wengine ambao possibly wanashida ambao we mwenye kupitia hii video maybe itakusaidia. So, video video hii neze kawa recommended kwa mtu kama wee so do like subscribe as well for this channel to grow so let's jump into it Ya, so before kuelekezea about risk management, ningependa sana kuanza wele what is risk management. So, nita pop up hiki PDF ambo, hii PDF ipo exclusive kwa Elite members only, but I will show you the basics about the risk management so you can enjoy about what Elites are getting guys. So, uh, risk management now how to manage risk in a right way it's like risk management includes how to manage money with relation to risk and returns kwa sababu tunajua forex is all about making money it's just a business of making money now for you to make money you need to know how to risk it properly means which means you risk it properly and you manage losses if you get them and you manage rewards if you get them now being profitable in the first market is the main goal we know that we are trading so that to neza pata faida so as we intend to invest money you aim to gain profits so it's like other business where to be profitable trader you need to plan and think in the long term to enable you with this time to large profits and grow your account so many you know unezu kwa kute ukiyo na una grow maybe small account Wezu ka double that small account within a day or within four hours or within minutes for you to withstand with your profits in a video of killing or wrong them. Now, uh, when you trade without risk management, you can lose all of your capital. It's like you are gambling now. Uh, trading is like kama ilifo atatu mzuka, kama ilifo michezo ya biko ama sport betting. It's all about business. Just like una to fault na mtu ambaye yuko na duka kali yako ama yuko na duka semi yote tu ile, okay? So now you need to be to bet on yourself like how do you manage risk? Now we manage risk to maximize returns. Now you manage risk so that you need to put a faida kubwa. Lakini pia we manage risk so that we can we can compound obtain returns, okay? Now there are also other tips to manage risks but hapa ntakupa some ambazo na I think will be better for you guys to know actual tips ambazo nezu kazi tumia to manage your risks okay so sitake ni expose what airlines are getting for but there are other tips out there ambazo unezu kapata like how you manage your risks now let's jump into the chat and see the how these tips you need to me i'll give you only three tips ambazo will it be possibly worth off uh, because it's for free and for you to keep in touch with us on youtube now um this is usd card uh, which is the actual pay and uh, i'll show you how it's a risk so i know you all know about 
vile ambavyo tunafanya analysis okay so for example tali hapo insha najua where the market is heading to uh, in USD card in a four hour time frame tulikuwa na hii uh, downside push ambao uh, if you are trading the uh, trend lines utaona like tulikuwa na breakouts now this is a actual impulse now uh, for us or for for uh, for a smart trader you have to wait for for the pullback so that uneza fanya entries okay sababu tumeshaona inabidi to sharp break around this level and then to, we have to tap around that level so for us to be smart we have to wait for a certain pullback now uh, around this pullback is where our entries will start now the first tip amba unezu katumia like unavu kuna manage liske ni wakati unafanya entry so the first tip always tunasema use uh, a proper 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 risk reward ratio now ukiona okay, tumia risk ukiona okay, plan your risk reward ratio make sure your risk reward ratio au rr if you are risking one make sure you uh, your ratio is actually a minimum of five which means in easy car one ratio five one ratio six one ratio seven for example tatolea mfano nikisema a risk reward ratio i mean kwamba kama na riski yani sehemu ambapo nataka stop loss kama ni pips 20 inabidi hizi pips 20 zingie a minimum of 5 yani 20 mara 5 ya take profit yangu mpaka na hit so which means wakati nasubiri kufanya entry around here hapa ambapo nitakuja kufanya entries around here inabidi mpaka na hii kitu ina hit take profit at least pips ambazo na zilisi ambazo ni pips 20 zinaingia mara 5 okay so how do you read about them unaweza kaona like mfano hapa let me show you this ukitumia okay, trading view utaona around here kuna kwa mfano hapa ni uh, risk reward ratio ni 7 so which means ni 1 ratio 7.7 yani kwamba hizi pipsi ishirini ambazo na zireski zinaingia mara saba mpaka reward okay so let's see kwenye uh, one hour time frame hapa nataka ni ni buy uh, ningia position za ku buy and my my take profit itakuwa around there kwa sababu tayari nishangaa kwenye uh, time frame so i want to capitalize this trend Now let's see my stop loss is on press around there. Now let's see what happens. Now for my entries tally is may trigger ni around here and my take profits ni around this level here. So mpaka itap kwa sababu tally insha insha achieve almost the pips mpaka right now ni pips 125. So pips 20 21 mazo nimezilisiki mpaka sasa hivi zinaingia mara tano Now for my risk reward ratio dali shangia mara tano So let's see hapa ndo naweza ka break even your your entries kusubiri mpaka take profit yako hit. So let's see where my take profit margin Now yes exactly now my take profit exactly he may smash around there and he may achieve almost 1 ratio 7 ambao ndio ilikuwa targeted uh, profit now kwa sababu ni metapo around here ngoje nionyeshe like maybe ningetaka kuangalia opportunity za ku za ku sell as well yeah so tali to put around this level Let's see vile ambavyo he trade it a uh, prayer. Yeah, so this was the long day. I'm going to look up this. So let's see kama itatupa actual conference. Yeah, uh, e back testing ipo two way fast lakini I just wanted to show you like vile ambavyo unaweza ka take the other uh, entries around here ili u take ngofano hizi ni pips 25 not bad but hapa natumia large time frame lakini ningekuwa kwenye lower time frame so inakuwa ina make sense kwamba unaweza ka relate like what is happening okay 
So kwa mfano hii unaweza kusoma like your risk reward ratio ipo around 1 ratio 8 mpaka take profit yako ina hit which means in 80 times kitu ambao so mbaya okay So I wanted e addressing here around there and for example this this was my actual entry point around here ambo watu wa order blocks utakuta wanafanyia watu wa order blocks utakutana kwa kia around there so almost ni kama entry na kwa imeanzia around it, this level here okay so kwa hii risk reward ratio ni 1 ratio 8 kitu ambacho inakuwa ina make sense like if niki lose e trade so which means hata kama ningepata let's say chukulie tu mfano kama hii trade ya kwanza inge hit stop loss Uh, and I hit trade nikai nikai capitalize so kama hapa nime lose one pass uh, nime lose uh, eight, uh, 20 pips hii hapa nitakuwa nime gain pips 250 so ukija kuhesabu general ama average ya trades zako tano ama tatu ama 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 sita kwa wiki nzima utajikuta kwamba upo kwenye winning side ukikompare na mtu ambaye atumie risk reward ratio nzuri okay so hii hapa ni tip ya kwanza and tip ya bid always uh, risky 1% of your account hapa nikisema ku risky 1% of your account i mean like uh, i know you guys trade okay but kila mtu yupo na actual trading tip ya tip zake especially ninapokuja swala la capital ambayo unakuwa hapo na risky okay so i'll just give you an example here kwamba like let me show you here Uh, always risk 1% of your account or 2% of your account. Nikisema 1% na maanisha kama una capital maybe ya dola F1 now. Let's take take an example that your capital maybe ni dola F1. Yeah. So, kama dola F1 1% ni dola ngapi? Ni spend dola 100. Kama una dola maybe dola 100 1% ni almost dola moja so unapoko na risk at least the risk 1% to gain maybe 5% in terms of risk reward ratio but the second tip hii inaweza kuwa kind difficult uh, for account uh, ndogo kama za dola 20 ama dola 50 kwa watu ambao mna trade account ndogo lakini ni always nice kwa watu ambao wanakuwa na trade at a minimum of account dola 200 a minimum lakini the other tip ambayo ni ya mwisho ni always use calculated loss size. So kwenye loss size ndio inaweza ikawa ngumu lakini I'll give you a certain tip around here. Kwa mbona uko na trade unaweza ukawa na via my FX book um, ni site ambayo unaweza uka calculate loss size. Kuna position size calculator ambayo unaweza uka calculate which for you guys kama una unaweza ukawa na simplify maybe your your loss size. Um, kio kwa my facebook just ingia same ya home utaona hapa calculator then ingia position size calculator so position size calculator itakuleta hapa ambapo hapo ndio unaweza calculate your your loss size okay yeah so unaweza kuchagua pair so let's say kwa mfano ile kjpy so let me type here ilikuwa ni card usd yeah, oh usd card So let me type here USD card. Now USD card here hapa. And account balance maybe account balance yako ipo in terms of what? Mara nyingi mimi wanapenda account balance hiyo in terms of pound lakini hata kweli kwa USD so mbaya. Then account size yako let's say inachukulia mfano account size yako maybe ni dola 500. A minimum one. Dola 500. Risky huwa na risk percentage gap. Tumesema always risk at least 1%. And stop loss maybe ni pips ngapi ninachukulia tu mfano hapa ni pips 20 maybe kwa ile trade ambayo tumefanya how many trades ambayo nataka uingie kwenye hiyo actual trade maybe uh, maybe one pass uh, one trade only one trade and then calculate so ukikalculate hapa chini itakuambia actual pesa ambayo una una risk kwenye actual trade ambayo ni dola tano units ndio hizo hapa lakini sizing ndio road size yako sambo tunaitaka so loss size hapa ni 0.03 hii ndio actual loss size ambayo unaweza ukaitumia kwenye account yako ya dola 500 okay now this these are actual tips ambazo unaweza ukazitumia in terms of uh, managing your risk guys but make sure you uh, <laughs> unaweza ukashare na mtu mwingine ambaye ni trader maybe this message may be intended for him 
you also have to like guys and make sure you also follow our pages on instagram twitter and where <laughs> and youtube exactly make sure you subscribe so thank you guys i hope the two easy tips is the was idea nothing a funny recap first tip use proper risk reward ratio like any tip your bill always list one percent to two percent of your account and the last tip ni kutumia uh, uh, actual positions loss size yeah, calibrated lot size your account yako. so i hope you get them thank you and you're welcome see you next time